Welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. We have another unboxing for you today. I'm really excited for this one. Um, this one will be coming up in a bigger review, hopefully down the road, um, where I can compare all of the Turing grinders. Um, so I can compare the DF83, the uh, DF64V, the DF64E, and the DF64 Gen 2. Um, this one I'm super excited for. Um, it's pretty new to the market and they have made some substantial upgrades. So early on down the road, this was kind of known as the niche killer. Uh, the niche zero being like one of the best coffee grinders at the time, but also three years ago, it was incredibly hard to get your hands on. Um, and they uh, turned grinders, made the DF64, and that kind of took off, but it was known to have some quirks. Um, so over the years, Turin has worked really hard at making some adjustments to their grinders to um, make them a little bit better and make them overall great grinders to use and um, more unpleasant experience for their customers, which is great because it's a company in the coffee industry that listens to the feedback of people. Um, so I'm super pro Turin grinders. I've loved most of the things I've gotten from them. Um, and great customer service from Joe at Espresso Outlet as well. Espresso Outlet and Turin Grinders are this, owned by the same people. So if you order from the TurinGrinders.com, you'll get the same customer service that you would get from Espresso Outlet as well. So we got a new metal dosing cup. I have yet to use one of these, so I'm excited for that. Um, a couple extra holder, portafilter holder hooks. That's what you want to call it. Um, we got a power cable here. And this is the matte black. So back in the original ones, they used to have kind of a vinyl cover. So these have um, changed up a little bit. Uh, so now they're kind of uh, kind of powder coated instead. So you don't get all the vinyl wrapping, um, which gives it a better kind of feel to it, better look to it. But that comes at the downside of you don't get as many color options. Um, but luckily I have the matte black here, which excites me because uh, matte black is just kind of my color. Um, also, I hope that this might be the last time you'll see um, this kind of corner for videoing this way. I'm making some adjustments here um, and uh, giving myself a little bit more of an opportunity to test things um, in this area where I don't have to move gear as much. So this grinder might be the grinder that will be constantly sitting in here to test. Um, so I believe they kind of changed the burst sets up to um, a little bit different style, and that style is better than the original ones from a towel mill. Um, so we're excited for that. Um, so this is a little funnel thing that sits on top of your portafilter, or it sits on top of the dosing cup. And the nice thing about this is this has a silicone O-ring, which is different than my uh, DF64, uh, sorry, DF83 version 1 um, did not have that. We have... Uh, the last little piece here, uh, the nice bellow that goes on top of it. Now there's quite a few differences that they make on this one. I had original V1 a long time ago and sold it because I had the opportunity to buy a Eureka Atom 75, which is just kind of more what I wanted and I needed to sell my turn at the time to get that. Um, so this one uh, has quite a few changes starting from it has a built-in anti-popcorn thing here and that's uh, pretty well built sits on top here uh, the burrs have changed a little bit these are not the DLC coated burrs um, that are in the DF 64 V but they are the same style of burr cut and should give you uh, pretty good results uh, the finish is nice uh, they now have a metal adjustment collar here on the top um, hopefully you can see that there and they have a matte black finish to it which is always my favorite um, now I've noticed that a lot of these, the complaints on this grinder so far was the power button um, is red, but this one is white and this one looks really good and I'm excited for that. Um, so sounds like they listen to people pretty quickly because this was shipping with a red button and now it's white. Um, the power button used to be located here at the top, uh, right underneath the portafilter hooks and that upset some people so they moved it to the side here. Looks nice and is great. Um, uh, bellows sit on top here. They're thicker than the original ones. Um, this is a, a nice wood piece. I haven't had one that kind of has this finish on it uh, before, but that sits on top of it. Um, but 
I've noticed with the DF64V um, that I have, which I'm currently getting a different one, it works, but I kind of, I got a very, very early one and it has some issues with the motor that has been resolved in all the future ones. Um, so the bellows seem super nice, but apparently you can just use the anti-popcorn popper and just go like this and it knocks it out. And one of the big things on it is uh, this has the plasma generator on it, um, which is my, this is going to be my first uh, experience with the plasma generator on one of turns grinders which I'm super excited for um, partly because I do not like the idea of spraying coffee beans in order to keep your um, counter not not messy and not have a ton of static so this is going to be very welcomed here and overall for f this is currently going for $400 um, at Espresso Outlet and $400 seems like a steal for this grinder. I know I already have a lot of uh, opinion on it, and it's not because I'm biased. It's because I've always had a good experience for turn grinders. I do want to give a disclosure that turn grinders did send this over to me in exchange for review. I also have the privilege of running the social media for turn grinders. However, that does not change my opinions on them. I will let you know any flaw that I have with turn grinders because I would, I would rather hold my integrity here on YouTube for giving honest reviews than take a paycheck for running social media for a company that I don't agree with. Um, I would not do that unless I fully supported them and I've been very happy from the very very first experience I have. I still think $400 was a great deal for that very first Gen 1 uh, DF64 and it's great to see that with all of the positive changes on it the price has not gone up, gone up but it's rather stayed the same and you're just <laughs> it's gonna get really hard to beat turn grinders with the way that they've been increasing the market with what they have the fact that you can get a variable rpm uh df64v with the magnetic shoots that that run off for six hundred dollars versus that has pretty similar specs to a lagone p64 at sixteen hundred dollars there will hopefully be a comparison on this channel comparing those two um soon uh, maybe a few months down the road but it's crazy to see that you can get such value for grinders at in my opinion, a very low price point. Um, $400 is a lot for some people, but it's been great. Um, even the SD40 that I used for quite a bit, I was really happy with in comparison to a Niche Zero and some of the other conical burrs and that, come in, that comes in under $200. Um, yeah, I'm super thrilled about this. Also, the cable does run out the back on this rather than the side. I know some people didn't like that. It just kind of depends on your setup. On the countertops, I do find it nicely because... Uh, you can push the grinder back a little bit more, but I hang things off the back of my counter, so everything runs off the back end of the counter, and you can't see the cables anyway, so I actually prefer to have it on the back. Um, but yeah, this is the DF64 Gen 2, and although I haven't used it yet, if it runs anything like any other turn grinder, um, I'm going to be pretty excited about it, and I can't wait to review this for you and really give my honest thoughts about it. And I will be nitpicky. And I will try to give you any flaws that I find on this grinder, anything that I don't like. Um, and I'm going to be completely honest about it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I would love to answer those for you and give you a complete thought of what I think about this grinder and whether or not um, you should buy it. Uh, but yeah, let me know if any questions, if you made it this far, please like and subscribe. It helps me do this thing called YouTube and it helps me put more energy in it. The larger the following get, the more the more benefit it is for my family and the more benefit it is for me to take the time that it takes to create these videos, do all of the research, test all of the gear. It's a fun thing, but it's also a very time consuming thing. The more support, the more time I'm willing to give um, away from spending spending time with my family in order to do this to serve you guys so please please like and subscribe if you're looking at purchasing these this grinder please use the link below i'll get a small kickback of commission um, this is at no extra charge to you it doesn't cost any more for the grinder but it does go back in this channel to help me purchase gear and review gear um, and do my best to get as much stuff out there for you to see and help you make an informed decision on what you want to buy so thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day